Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. Before I begin, I'm going to ask Rachel, because she reads so well, to read a scripture verse for me, Rachel, if you could come here. It's taken from Psalms. It's Psalms 103, verses 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Thank you, Rachel. So the story today I'm going to tell you happened a long time ago in a little town called Capernaum. Capernaum was across the Sea of Galilee. And in this little town, I'm sorry, sorry, thank you. In this little mm -hmm. town of Capernaum, there was a house, and Jesus was in this house. And Jesus was preaching to the people. And so many people came to hear him speak that the house got so crowded. And it was full, and it was packed, and you couldn't move an inch. And there were four friends who thought they would bring their best friend to Jesus. Their best friend was sick. He was paralyzed. Do you know what paralyzed means? You can't walk. You can't move your legs. You just, and that back then they didn't have wheelchairs, so all they did was lay in bed. And so he couldn't move at all. So the friends carried his bed and came to this house, but they couldn't get in because the house was so crowded. So then you know what they decided to do? They wanted to still get their friend to Jesus. So they had an idea. Let's go up on top of the roof and try to get down through the roof. So they took the bed and they climbed up, 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 up to the roof of the house. And then they made a hole in the roof. They took down some of the um, tiles and then they tied ropes to the edges of the corners of the bed and then they slowly started lowering the bed down into the room. And down, down, down it came. And it rested right in front of Jesus. And Jesus was so amazed that these friends had so much faith in him that they would bring their friend to him for, to be healed. So Jesus, Jesus said to the sick man, son, your sins are forgiven. Now, there were some enemies of Jesus in the room there, and um, they were muttering to themselves, how can he forgive sins? Only, only God can do that. So Jesus asked them, which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven or to say take up your bed and walk? Of course, the easier thing would be to say your sins are forgiven. Jesus was God and really could forgive sins, but there was no way to prove that if this really had happened. So to prove to them that he could forgive sins, he did the harder thing and he said, take up your bed and walk. And the man who had been unable to move for so long, he stood up and he walked. And everybody could see what had happened was because of Jesus' words. And the people who saw this were amazed and surprised because they had never seen such a miracle before. They praised God for the miracle performed by Jesus. Thank you for listening. You can go back to your seats now. <laughs> 